In this video, we're going to talk about user management inside of the Modex CMS Manager. With websites that have more than one administrator, there may be times where you have to perform basic user administration. In this video, we're going to talk through accessing users in the Modex Manager, resetting passwords, viewing a user's active state, various permission settings, and also how to correctly unblock a user. To get to the main manager screen in Modex, simply hover over Manage and click Users. You'll be presented with the screen as so. To be able to edit a user, simply right click and select Update User. If it's just one single user that you wish to administer, you can simply type their name or email into the top left hand side bar. Right clicking and updating will present us with the main user model. Here you can see that we've got various pieces of information such as the username, full name, email address and various other pieces of user data. The two most important fields are the username and the email address. The username is what's used when people sign into the Modex Manager. The email address is where forgotten password information will be sent to. You can, if you wish, have these separate. However, for consistency and end user adoption and understanding, I'd recommend to keep them to the email address. If you wish to reset a user's password, you can do this by visiting a specific user, clicking on the new password box in the bottom right, and then selecting one of the few options. Here you have the option to be able to manually specify a password and then show it on the screen. This would be perfect if this is an account that perhaps you have control over. Another example would be for you to specify a manual password and then send it by email. The option that we do recommend is to simply say send the new password by email and let Modex generate the password. This will send to this user's email address a secure password for them to use. We'd highly recommend that after that password has been used to reset the user's password to something that's more memorable to themselves. To make sure that a user has the correct ability to sign into the Modex Manager, ensure that this sudo user box is ticked. Depending on your site's configuration, this may or may not be enabled. But out of the box Modex installations, ticking that box will do. Underneath access permissions, we have various groups that this user can belong to. Again, this will depend heavily on your individual site's configuration. Let's now have a look at blocked users. A user is blocked if they've tried to sign into the Modex Manager too many times unsuccessfully. This will then block them for a period of time depending on how many times they've tried to sign in. A blocked user can be seen by this column indicating with a yes. To unblock a user, you have to do two things. The first is to tell their unblocked date to be non-existent, and the second is to actually unblock them. Here we can see a particularly troublesome user called Carly Smith. Right-clicking and updating will bring up the user's screen. To successfully unblock this user, clear out both of the date and time fields in these boxes, untick blocked, and then press save. If you need to, this is an opportunity for you to be able to reset that user's password also. Deleting users. We never recommend that you do delete users. However, if the need should arise, removing a user is just a simple case of right clicking and delete user. This will remove them permanently from the website. Please bear in mind that again, depending on your site's configuration and levels of integration and custom manager pages and logic, that removing a user can potentially have in, um, undesired effects upon your website. Because of this, we would recommend that instead of deleting users, you simply block them. Blocking a user is just a case of double clicking in that field and selecting yes.